it's Alaska Granny. I went to Sportsman's Warehouse and I bought two more water ba uh, barrels to store extra water. This one is 55 gallons and it was $54.99. So basically the storage cost is $1 a gallon. And I can fill it up with my hose and I'm good to go. This one was I think $38 and it holds 15 gallons but it's a smaller size you have to get the size that fits what you want so per gallon this one is more but it's going to be just as handy as this one and I that's why I got two I also got what's called a bung wrench because these have um, those gaskets on there and I could not get them off by hand my other water bottle like hand so then you take this and you put it on the white plug and you twist it until it comes off and there you go it's open now what I'm going to do is take my hose and fill it part way up and then I'm going to add for about every uh, gallon of water that I put in to rinse it I'm going to put about a gallon in I'm going to put five capfuls of bleach make sure you use unscented bleach you don't want your water to smell like something like lavender then I'm gonna put the lead back on tip it all around until the water the bleach water swirls everywhere and then I'm gonna rinse it out or pour it out and maybe give it a little spray I'm gonna do the same thing on this one I'm gonna open this up with my bung wrench I'm gonna fill it up with water well, I'm not going to fill it up. I'm going to put about a gallon of water, five teaspoons of bleach, and shake that one all around, too. And now I'm going to put the, the uh, plugs back on and roll them all around so that the bleach water uh, will disinfect every surface of these barrels. Then I'm going to pour that out, decide where I want them, and then fill them up. I've rolled them all around and so that every surface was coated and purified with the gallon of water and the bleach and now I'm gonna pour that out put them where I want them to live and then I'm gonna fill them up keep looking for little out-of-the-way places to store more water around your house if you need to get rid of some of the junk you don't need anymore so that you can store something you do need to survive Never set your water barrel directly on a cement floor and don't store it near any chemicals. I've made a pad of tiles and that's where I'm storing this one. And make sure it's in a cool dark place for the best uh, way to store your water. And the barrels, that's why they come coated that the water is already protected from uh, light because the light can cause bacteria to grow and you want it in a cool place because hot water, you know, can lead to bacteria growth. And you want your, la your water to last as long as possible. I rearranged things enough I could get my biggest barrel in my bunker, which gives me two 55 gallons barrels in my bunker along with some other bottles of water. Make sure that you have a bung wrench and a, some kind of a pump or a shaker hose in every location. If you have it in one location, you need one. If you have them in two locations, you need two of these because you, if you can't get the water out, what good is it to you? Know that the 55 gallons weighs about 450 pounds when it's full, so make sure you put it level and uh, know where you want it before you try to fill it up or you're not going to be able to move it. Plus, don't 
set it ever like on to cement, put it on something else first. Get some water, store it, make sure you have what your family needs. Please subscribe to Alaska Granny and have a wonderful day.